Hey everyone, Robert Plank here, and today we're going to upload my very first book to CreateSpace. Now, I've never uploaded a book to CreateSpace before, so it would be kind of a new experience. And the reason why I'm doing this, and I recommend that you do it, is that if you find yourself putting something off until later, just record a video. Just record a video of you doing it. That way you have to do it. So I'm at this uh, site right now, CreateSpace.com, and I think I can log in using my... Amazon account. Let me see if that'll work. But uh, basically, Create Space will allow you to publish a print book using uh, just using this this website. This is a company owned by Amazon. In a similar way, that they have this tool called Amazon Kindle, uh, where you can publish a digital book at kdp.amazon.com, and you can see how well the book is selling and um, all that kind of good stuff. So on Kindle, you can sell a digital book, but on CreateSpace, you can sell an actual physical book. So I've logged into createspace.com. I just used my Amazon.com account. I think that even if you do log in from Amazon.com account, they will make you confirm some stuff or uh, set up your information. So once that's all set up, we're logged into createspace.com. I guess I'm going to click on Add New Title. This is my very first time setting up a Kindle book. And let me just open up my... Uh, my digital ebook. So basically, I have a manuscript already written, uh, about 46,000 words. Uh, this is just something where I, I had some audios from a couple years ago, and then maybe I want to say, I, I want to say I recorded this maybe four years ago, and then about a year or two ago, I had it transcribed into text. And every now and then I go back and run spell check again with make one more pass at it, and uh, I just make sure that everything is, uh, is all good. So let me make a point here to uh, be sure my table of contents is up to date. I think I changed a couple of page numbers. Okay, so that looks all good. So this is a book called 100 Time Savers, and um, I've sold a few hundred copies on Kindle. I got a bunch of reviews, and now I think it's time to get it on CreateSpace as well. So I'm just going to copy the title since it's kind of a long title. Uh, put that into the name of the project. Whoops. Okay, so we have a limited, so we're going to say 10 minutes a day from your schedule, so you can 60 hours uh, free time. Gain 60 hours free time, darn it. Um, gain 60 hours of free time. All right, we've got our title. I am going to make it a paperback. What's really cool, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually take your uh, videos, sell DVDs in CreateSpace, even get onto Amazon Instant Video. But let's just keep it simple for now to a book. All right. So we're going to uh, create a book. So I am going to, uh, I guess we'll just do guidance. This is my first time. So we're going to click on that. And so, primary author. Well, my name is. Robert Plank and description. I'll just reuse my description from my Kindle book so as not to bore you with typing a bunch of stuff. So let's just copy this description, put it into the uh, create space. All right. Authored by, let's see, authored by Robert Plank. That's me. And did I have anything else in here? No, that's just me. Okay. So subtitle, here we go. So I think what I wanted to do was I wanted to say here is the title, 100 Time Savers, and this is the subtitle, gotcha. Subtitle, cool, and that all fits. It's not a member of a volume, so we'll say save and continue. Now ISBN, I've looked into this and pretty much uh, what you do is you can have a ISBN for free or for 10 bucks and uh, if you have it like, well I guess I explain it, but if, if you do like this then on, um, like if you go to, let me just find like 4 hour work week. Basically when this is listed in Amazon.com uh, where we find the publisher, let's see, publisher right here. So when we put our broken creates, it's going to say publisher create space, and that, that's what they're asking. They're asking, well, do you want it to just say publisher create space? Do you want it to be able to uh, make it look at like a different name, or even so that's so basically for free, it'll say publisher create space. For ten bucks, it'll say publisher whatever you want, and for a hundred bucks, if you ever want to change publishers, you can. If that's how I understand it. So 
just going to make it our free ISBN, um, have CreateSpace assign us the ISBN, make the publisher CreateSpace. If some big publisher ever wants to publish me, then I'll just ask them what they want and I'll just write a new book for them. All right, no big deal. So we're going to say assign free ISBN. All right, so now we've got an ISBN number. Cool, now it's getting official. Click on continue. We're going to make this just a black and white book. I don't have a lot of pictures. And then figure out what size of book we want to have. And I mean, so it looks like the other options are have a, a slightly smaller book. So I'm just going to keep it the same. Six by nine book. It looks like, uh, yeah. I'm just going to keep it a six by nine book. This is the recommended size, most popular. And then they want us, all right, uh, they'll give us a template so we can see what I mean. Uh, yeah, I just want to have the most basic book, all right, book title. Here we go. So next, they're going to say, upload your book file. And so I'm just I'm going to see what happens because my Kindle book that I have, it is, let me see what size that is. Uh, size is eight and a half by 11. So I'm just going to see how that, if they resize it or if I have to resize it myself. Honestly, I don't know. So this, like I said, it's my first time doing a Kindle book or a CreateSpace book. I've done a bunch of Kindle books, but it's time to uh, do a print book. So we're going to find 100 time savers right there. And that'll be it. That'll be my book file. Let's see how that looks. So we're going to save that. And that will, here we go, it's uploading. And shouldn't take too. I mean, it is kind of a, a longer book, but I don't have a lot of graphics, so that should be okay. All right, almost done. Took about 30 seconds. Oh, great! Now it has to process it. Okay, so this is actually kind of cool because when I um, when I last looked in the Create Space, it looked like you had to submit as a PDF document, but now that I actually tried, it looks like a Word document worked just fine. So it looks like they are, um, they're looking through my book resizing it, and they say you can start working on your book cover while you wait, and we'll email you when the check is complete. So let's work on the book cover. Now I already had a graphic like this, uh, and this was a big reason why I went to Kindle first before going to CreateSpace, was because Kindle only cares about your the inside of the book, your front cover. Uh, and with CreateSpace, when you have an actual book, you have to have a back cover, a spine, into cover, all that stuff as far as I understand it. So uh, they, they can design it for you, but I don't trust them. I don't have a cover already made, so let's just go to build your cover online. And um, let's just try to make something that looks similar enough to this, oops, to this design. It doesn't need to look exactly, uh, just because I just want to get some kind of a book online right now. Looks so we have a bunch of crappy designs. Uh, if I can find, like, a, like I just want, like, a clean kind of one that uh, has a lot of white space. So I can just kind of put my, see, this is close. I don't like the fonts that we're using. Okay. So I hope we're not stuck exactly with these designs, but I think the most basic one I'm seeing is the willow. All right. But hopefully I can change a few things around. We'll see. I'm going to put this into uh, full screen mode, F11, so I have a little more room to work with. Okay, so we've got our theme, and we want to just design a cover here. So looks like now that we've chosen that, we can have kind of a, a sub-theme of some kind. I really don't like how any of these look. This is that's pretty close. And at least we can change the image. Um, I don't want, yeah, I don't want Wild, Wild West. I just want, like, a basic freaking design. No, I, so I guess the closest one from what I wanted was um, solid. And so what I'm planning on doing, actually, is, well, first of all, I think you can edit the design later. But what I, uh, I'm going to do at some point is find a... Kindle Photoshop template, but for now I don't want to mess with those graphics or anything like that. So, got the title, subtitle, author, and front cover image. Okay. So, let's find a front cover image. I don't want, yeah, I don't want anything cheesy like this. I just want like a simple. 
like what I want is something like this. Like it's just like a black and blue. And I don't I don't think I can just give them an image. And if I do, I want it's not going to match the rest of the book. So let me just uh, find something here. I don't really like pictures of people. Uh, but my thing is about saving time. So if there's like a that there's something like that, like something that talks about like a system or man, there's no like solid colors or something. Here you go, patterns. Yeah, I don't like any of these. So I just want something kind of simple. But I'm I'm being very mindful to not spend too much time on it and I, I think as far as I know you can get a proof copy sent to you and uh, that means they can they'll send you a free book that uh, is kind of like a mock-up like a sample and then you can uh, then choose uh, if you want to make more changes to it or keep it as it is so can I see all right background show all images okay so let me just, I just need to find just a real easy image, but nothing's really coming to mind here. I don't want anything too busy. Don't want anything with people. I just want, I just want some freaking solid colors. All right. So I'm not going to, I'm only going to spend about a minute or less on this because this is taking too long. Let's try business and travel. Let's find just like something pretty basic. Don't want a boat, don't want a city. I just want like a background. I might have to go with one of these abstract ones. Um, all right, let's just see how this looks. Not happy with it, but let's just try it. Uh, yeah, I don't want that at all. And it looks like, yeah, I don't want that in there at all. Can I clear that image? Can we just have no image, please? Let's see. No, we gotta have something. Maybe uncheck visible. Just, just wanna have a basic cover. Just a basic one. Darn it. Alright. Back cover quotes. Let me put some of the reviews back on here. Richard Deitch and Rich Hamilton. Two guys named Rich. Can't go wrong there, right? Alright. Richard Deitch, Rich Hamilton. Overflowing text. All right, let's just keep Rich Hamilton there since he's a pretty good guy. Give that a second. Okay, so I, I mean, I am kind of liking this. I do like how uh, it is pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, let me s see if I can. So let's try like the Aspen. So it is kind of handy that that we can go in here and not really, uh, not really know what we want our our uh, book to look like and have a lot of choices here. I just wish they had more simple stuff because I just want it looks like some some like Jack London type of stuff. I just want a really simple, almost kind of bland, basic design here. And to be honest, this is what held me back in the past from getting a book put online, put on, on CreateSpace at least, because um, all these designs just plain suck, if I can be so honest with you. Yeah, I still think the Willow is the one to do. It's just the fonts then suck. Yeah, so we want the Willow. We said Solid Poplar, I think, was the one. That was the least weird. Oh, and, and we also noticed that you lose your uh, all your changes as well. All right. Darn it, I wish there was like a normal kind of design here. Let's see if the elm will let us do like a blue background. So, let's see, solid poplar. Title, subtitle, so are we really stuck with that 
this red. There we go, background color, perfect. All right, so we're, we're slowly figuring this out. So we can change the background color. I do like the blue. The blue is closer to uh, to what I was doing here, okay? And font color, uh, let's try like a full-on white, not like a cream. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, oh, we can't change the font, can we? All right, so we don't want to publish your logo. And let's just get to uh, filling this in since, man, I still, I mean, I'm not happy with that font at all, but it's as close as we're going to get. Don't want a typewriter font. I don't want a stencil font. So what we ended up going with was the Elm Solid Poplar theme. And yeah, there's no way to really change that. So, all right, 100 time savers is our title. Uh, subtitle, let me bring up my description again. Let's see. I'm going to just copy that right in. Okay. Terrible looking font. Sorry about that. Okay. So we've got 100 time savers, and then I'm going to take the review from Rich Hamilton. And we will put that right in there. Oh, and that should be not as much room. All right. And then for the author photo, let me just uh, grab picture from my blog of myself. I need like a, yeah, I'll just grab this one. So I'll just save this to my desktop. Upload that. Okay. Now back cover text. We'll just use the description again of my book. So we'll just do this. And is there a way to make it take up a little more space? Um, there is not. Publisher logo, don't have one. Barcode area. So for this, yeah, I don't, I don't happen to have a publisher logo, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, background color, font color, and looks like we're done. So that takes care of the cover. I'm not 100% happy with it, but I would say that if I was able to change the fonts, it would be fine. So I mean, for now, at least it'll get the book published, and I'm I'm pretty sure we can resubmit the cover. I mean, it it would only make sense, but I mean, let's find out because that's the one thing I'm I've always been curious about is can we submit a, a new version of the cover. All right, so we built a cover online, and yeah, I mean, if they were smart, they would for sure let you uh, update the cover, but uh, let me just see this full-size preview. I mean, it's not the worst cover ever made, so let's just, I mean, I just want to see how it looks in person. So complete cover, all right, fluid complete, continue, all right, so now we're all ready to go, but it says you must complete your book's interior before you can continue. Well, why didn't you just send me there then? So interior reviewer. We found, oh, okay, so basically, remember that? It was uploading the book, and then while it was figuring it all out, then we were editing the cover. Well, guess what? Now the inside of the book, the interior, the contents uploaded, so it says there's eight issues. Let's figure out what, uh, what kind of issues we have here. So honestly, I don't even know what I'm looking at, but uh, let's just wait for it to load and see what is wrong with our book. So get started, all right. All right, so first of all, it says that our, our sizing is off. So uh, I'm gonna see how this looks. If it doesn't look good, then I'll just resize it in, in words. So um, 
Are we going to paste or are we going to scale? I don't want to, no, this means will it size down or redo the text, redo the text. So we'll choose that one. Pages are loading as it like redoes the book. Okay, cool. So now, if you notice, uh, our 8.5 by 11 book was 100 pages, but now that it's 6 by 9, it's now almost 200 pages. And it kind of looks okay, except for if you notice the cover page was all jacked up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, to resize my Word document. So what I'll do is I'll go to page layout, uh, size, and is there a six? There's got to be a six by nine. Let's see what you've got. Really, I can't. It's got to be one of these, right? I guess not. I guess Microsoft Word doesn't expect you to publish a book. Those are Japanese envelope. All right, so we'll say it's six by nine. Apply to whole documents. All right. So now this is size down. Let me uh, adjust my this thing here. So now it's 164 pages. And then I'm going to redo my uh, table of contents if it will let me. Update field, entire table. OK. So I was able to redo my table of contents. I'm going to do a page break and redo the table again. OK, cool. So now I've got a 165 page book, 6 by 9 size. Everything else looks pretty much OK. So I'm going to resave this, and then I will re-upload it once it, if it finishes saving here. So it's saving. And um, yeah, I want to close the reviewer, and I want to somehow resubmit, yeah, upload a different file. OK. So I'm going to resubmit this now that I've resized the page. And then we'll see if there's any other issues. So upload a different file, browse for this again. So this is my books, 100 time savers. OK, save. Uploading again. All right, and then processing again. All right, it's checking this again, and I hope it remembered our cover changes. If not, that won't be very fun, but uh, we're going to wait for this to finish and then see if resizing this fixed those eight issues it had. All right, almost done, almost done. All right, so that took maybe, I don't know, three or four minutes. We have only found three issues with our file now, so let's check out what is wrong this time. Darn, I can't do anything right. Can I create space? Just kidding. So get started. So first of all, insufficient gutter. We need at least a 0.75 inch gutter inside margin and then 0.25 inch for the outside. OK, so you just need to increase this margin and this margin. Your file contains images less than 200 DPI, uh, but this looks like this is optional, right? Is that what that means? And then on page 105, it looks like we have some uh, some numbering in this also. So we just need to adjust our margin. So it said 0.75 inches on the left and 0.25 on the right. So let me look at my margins. I think that was on purpose. I think I had to adjust these margins to fit more stuff in. So it looks like on the, all right. Custom margins. So it looks like we have 0.5 inches all around. But we need 0.75 inside margin. So I'm not really sh honestly. I don't know what the gutter means here. So if we want, if we make a 0.25 inch gutter. See what it's done? It's added a little bit more space on the left side, uh, which also means that we need to readjust a lot of stuff. It looks like it's uh, processing. OK, so we'll resize that a little bit. We'll do that. And this means that, uh, let's see, Let me put the table of contents on a new page. 
and we put that on that new page and then redo the table of contents. Darn it, who would have thought of publishing a book would have been requires so much darn math? Okay, now I've got 175 pages that looks closer to what uh, CreateSpace gave us before when they resized our book. So now what I've done, just to kind of recap, is um, actually, hang on a second. I've gone to page layout in Microsoft Word, gone to margins. Let me uh, move that. Okay, wait. Control enter, new page, new line, whatever. So we're going to center that. Okay. So, all right, we've gone to page layout, size, made it a 6x9. Then page layout, margins, custom margins. And they said we need to have 0.75 on the left to allow for the binding, and at least 0.25 on the right. We already had 0.5 all the rounds, but then we wanted to make uh, this total 0.75, so in the gutter we gave it uh, 0.25, if that makes sense. So you just had to adjust the margins according to what they wanted. I'm going to save this and then re-upload the book again. So let me close this. And hopefully, 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 that will clear up the rest of the issues. So I'm going to upload a different file. And then upload file. And now it makes a lot of sense why uh, Kindle was so easy and creates space. Because with Kindle, I mean, you just say, here's a Word document. It's going to be read on different size readers. We'll figure it out. But when you have to actually have a printed book, and some things we printed on this side of the page and that side of the page, and this gets bound, physical stuff is kind of more of a pain in the butt, right? Okay, processing. We'll let this sit for a few minutes. Actually, here we go. Automated print check. This is the part that takes a little bit longer. Okie dokie. Now we're down to two issues. Let me check out what those were. So it still is complaining about the gutter, even though, aha, okay. So here's what might help you, is that when it finds issues, you can click on this little triangle, and it'll show you exactly what pages there's a problem with. So this problem is only a problem on page 26, where we have uh, page 26. How do we find that one? page 26 so it's like for some reason the, the end of this line so let me just make it simple I could I could mess around with the uh, everything but I'll just put a line break in there to fix that one now the other one is uh, yeah I don't well, I might have a better image of this let's see let's take this so this tiff image is too low quality and it is 72 dpi all right so i'll open this in photoshop and then i'll resave this image and so the, both of those issues should be cleared up uh the big so this we now have a line break and just to make sure everything's all good um let's see i really don't like that this is hanging on one page here um but Take out a little, come on, I need to take out a little bit of, um, okay, there we go. So that, and let me just, uh, here's another good trick, is if you do a zoom out, you can just click on this a few times, and just zoom out so you see several pages, and it'll really show you if, uh, you have any weirdness in your book? I notice there's a, that's fine, I guess. But if there's like one sentence hanging out on one little word, I I do want to fix that. So let me just go here and let me just remove some unnecessary things. Need one more quick sentence. There we go. So looks good, looks good, and I think I'm happy with the way this book is turned. Except for this, so on page, a couple of pages where there's a little bit, but I don't want to spend too much time on this. All right, close enough. Word document saved. 
Uh, all right, so let's hopefully four times a charm. We will once again re-upload, and it looks like once that's done, we're pretty much out of the way. We can get our proof copy. So one more time, upload Word document, and save. Okay, doke. Down to the final issue. So let's check out that. Not sure what it could be since we fixed the. Oh, you know what it was? We forgot to redo the image, didn't we? Yep. All right. So Photoshop is now open to my uh, cover graphic here. And I mean, you don't even have to have a cover graphic on your front page. But let me just resave this back to 100 time savers. Make it a TIFF. Um, but let me make sure that it is enough DPI. Because that was our issue here. So this is 300 DPI. All right. So save as a TIFF image, and there's no other settings I'm seeing. So let's just save that. So before it was one or 1.5 megs. Um, leave everything the same. No compression. And now it's still 1.5. Oh, now okay now it's two megs okay good all right and if we look at the properties let me just make sure it's good enough detail it is now 300 dpi coolness all right so what i will do is i'll go back to this front image and i think i can oh, i guess i have to delete and redo all right so insert picture and i'll browse once again to that image Actually, I think I can just drag over. All right, so I'll just do a little drag action here. Whoa. But I want it to be... How is it only that size? Technical difficulties, am I right? So pixels. Is it really only two? That makes no sense. Why is it only two images? Or two... Two, uh... Inches. So I might just have to put this here without the... Without the cover. Or without the, that first graphic in a second if I can't figure this out. Because... 600 by 800. I want it to be... Alright. Is it 200 DPI? Let's try that. Put this back in here. Yeah, why is that only freaking two inches? That makes no sense at all. I guess uh, I guess it's, we'll just have to take it out. So it looks like uh, just because this image was big enough, this cover was big enough because it's the actual size, but because it's so detailed, uh, it's it's very small. So since it's complaining, we'll just uh, we'll just put something in here like this: 100 time savers. And I'll put the subtitle. So for now, we'll just stick with text. And fingers crossed, we can edit stuff. Yeah, we can totally up upload a new book once it's published. So let me just do this. Um, this will be a subtitle. This will be a title. This can be a little bigger, though. Not that big. Centered. And let's move some of these reviews. I'll just put that first one there and then the rest on the next page and then make sure we update the table of contents as well all right everything looks looks a-okay and fingers crossed since now we have removed the troublesome image everything else on the book uh, looks pretty good to me okay looks good to you looks not bad to me And yeah, okay, cool. So we'll close this and then we will re upload it. And I, I hope what you get out of this is that, well, if you have to re upload your book 10 times, you're not alone. I'm right there with you. So save, and we should be all clear since I've just removed that image. Awesome, finally, we didn't find any issues. So now we don't need to check the reviewer since we've already kind of flew through that. So skip interior reviewer. Uh, all right, fine. I'll I'll open it up just because they won't. They want to warn me. Are you sure? 
All right, so I guess no harm in just flipping through the book, making sure everything looks good. So here's that um, that front page review. So here's some of that stuff. Let's just check further on in the book near the middle. If I could, let's me click. Okay, so in the middle still looks good. And let me just check the last couple of pages as well. Here we go. The eight. Got to give it a second to catch up, I guess. Um, about the author, Robert Plank, Time Management and Crack. All right, I'm happy with that. So we'll close that. And skip. Yes, I'm sure, because I actually did check it out. We've got our cover. Please resubmit your cover, creator cover. All right, fine. Please tell me it saved it. Please tell me it saved it. All right, cool. So it looks like it's good. Um, nothing changed here. Oh, we've got a spine now. Okay, that's cool. I just wish I could change that freaking font. But I mean, next time. Submit cover. And complete cover. All right, all done. And so apparently there you can do some kind of contest, but for now we'll just be like, just give me a freaking book already. All right, so we've got our book, ISBN number, got it size down, got a cover, and submit files for review. So it looks like they're going to email me once they're all ready, and now you want me to fill out how to get paid. So let's take care of that one first. I'm not going to show you this stuff. Okay, filled out my bank information so they can do a direct deposit. And so it looks like by default, uh, it's going to submit to Amazon, Europe, and CreateSpace. So this looks kind of weird. It looked like I had to choose something, but it looks like by default, all three of your checks just leave it alone. E-store setup, I don't even want to mess with that. Uh, let's just leave it as it is. Expanded distribution, you know what, no, let's just worry about getting a book first, all right? So it looks like you can uh, send this out to libraries and all kinds of goofiness, but let's just get a book online first, please, thank. Uh, let me see what my peers are selling for. What's another time management book? Eat a Frog, Now Have It. Let me just look at four random Amazon books figure out what they all charge. So we've got, that's the old version, nine or 15 bucks discounted to nine. We've got paperback, $10. All right, let's just try like $10 for, yeah, $11 or 22. All right, let's just make it $10. So let's go to Amazon pricing, $10. Figure out what kind of royalty we'll get. Three bucks, five bucks. All right. I mean, we can always make it more later on. Uh, translates it to euros and to pounds. Save and continue. All right. Got a description category. All right. So this is like a self help time management. So self help time management. Perfect. Choose this category. Uh, author biography. Uh, let me just go to my blog again. This is why it helps to have a bio of yourself. So let me just go to the about page. Um, so let me just copy this. Where we go? Description. Author biography. Had. So Robert Plank. Uh, this can simplify technology for you, and I'll put, I'll just, yeah, I'll put all that stuff, all right, that goes right there, all right, uh, country of publication, you want United States of America, very right at the top, publication date, uh, I'll just leave that alone, search keywords, Time management, saving time, save time, 
productivity. Let me see what tags we use and what our competitors use. Be productive, how to be productive, procrastination. Um, this book uses... Where are we at? I know he's got keywords. I know you've got them. Um, motivation. Here we go. Self-improvement, personal transformation. I like that one. Personal transformation, self-improvement, procrastination. And I don't want to keyword stuff this too much. But... Personal information, time management, life hack. All right. Oops. Life hack. There we go. No adult content, no large print. No more than five keywords. All right. So let's take out. I think I added product. So one, two, three. All right. Let's try that. Awesome. This is published on Kindle. No thanks. I'm already published on Kindle. Oh, cool. So they, they make Kindle kind of the upsell. So they say, once you're on CreateSpace, how about put it on Kindle? Well, you know what? We're already on Kindle, so thanks anyway. Uh, so that means we're done, looks like. So let me go back to my home page. And is there a way to say, like, I'm already on Kindle? Here's my, my book. I already have a Kindle version. All right, awesome. So now that part's been checked off. So back to the front page. Uh, so now I guess they have to approve the book, and I'm pretty sure that they are. And I mean, I haven't got a hundred percent of the typos out of this, but I mean, it's been approved for Kindle, so I mean, I don't see why they would deny me on CreateSpace. They will review it, and then it looks like the step after that is to uh, get a proof, get a sample sent over to me, and then we will be listed on Amazon.com, and we can do all kinds of cool stuff and see all the sales are doing. So that was uh, how easy it is to get your book onto Amazon CreateSpace. Now, just like putting it on Kindle, what you do is take a Word document, click the Upload button. Now, with CreateSpace, it looked like it was a little bit more complicated because we did have to resize our document uh, because on Kindle, well, the size doesn't matter because they it gets formatted in all kinds of weird ways anyway. So on CreateSpace, they do care about you resizing your document, and they do care about your margins, and you do have to kind of make a cover. But once that's done, well, there's not much to it. And it looks like one other thing I left out was I left out a couple categories. But so just like with, uh, I don't know, what do I do? Just like with the Kindle. The hardest part is cover and choosing some categories, putting it in the description, but they make it as easy as possible. In fact, I think they've made it easier than it used to be. I don't know why they had that thing open, but anyway, um, yeah, so you upload a document and now it's listed and they do have to approve it. Once it's approved, you're in the clear. So go to createspace.com right now, upload your book, your Word document, and you'll get an ISBN number. You'll get a, a physical book in the mail, and I will keep you updated as far as uh, once it gets approved, once I get a physical copy in my hands, I'll let you know how it works out. So CreateSpace, publishing a print book. I'm Robert Plank. Thanks for watching.